Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reacting to the top seven badass planes of the US military. I think it's not a surprise for anybody to know that the US military is the most powerful military in the world as far as we know. Before I've seen some videos about the US military, I thought maybe China was close, but after having seen those videos, I don't think anybody's close, not even India or Russia or anybody right now. But yeah, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to leave a like. If you enjoy the content, comment or not see next and subscribe. Please subscribe to the channel for more content. And let me know if you want me to check more things about US military down in the comments below or anything about any other topics. The top seven badass planes of the US military. Okay, Sam Wilson. There is little in the world that can match the simultaneous awesomeness and mystery of a badass plane. These are the paragon of modern innovation, yet largely pass invisibly above us. They decide battles and wars, yet only a few lucky soldiers get to see them. Blah, 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 words. Let's look at some incredible machinery. What is that? Seven, Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II. Okay. Love it or hate it, and there are plenty on both sides, the F-35 is the biggest and most important military aircraft program in the world today. First conceived in the Joint Strike Fighter program in 1992, the F-35 oh, okay. entered service in 2015, though serious technical problems remain, including issues with the stealth coating and night vision cameras. The F-35 is a multi-role aircraft to replace the aging fleets of F-16s, F-A-18s, A-10s, and AV-8Bs. Unlike them, it has the advantage of stealth and advanced sensors. An impressive helmet-mounted display not only replaces the traditional heads-up display projected on the canopy to show speed, fuel, and other data, but provides okay. infrared imagery at all angles so the pilot can see through the aircraft. The F-35 can act as a mobile sensor package, spotting targets and handing off data to less capable aircraft around it, boosting their effectiveness. The F-35 successfully conducted its first airstrikes in Iraq. Bombing ISIS tunnels is not a true test of modern aircraft, though, and whether the world's first trillion-dollar program pays off remains to be seen. <laughs> what about the collateral damages? Six. Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor. That looks similar to the me. first fifth-generation fighter aircraft, the F-22 is a stealthy air superiority. When they say F-22, does it mean that there was F-1, F-2, F-3, F-4, F-5 until they get F-22 or they just named them whatever they want? Let me know in the comments, please. The aircraft able to cruise at supersonic speeds with a fearsome load of advanced weapons. To many, it is still the greatest air-to-air -air combat vehicle ever devised. Okay. The F-22 was the product of the Advanced Tactical Fighter program to replace the F-15 in the 1980s and eventually entered service in 2005. It was built with two key capabilities in mind. One was super cruise, being able to travel at high speeds for extended periods, not just in short bursts like the F-15. The other was stealth. The F-22 is all but invisible to radar, so it can spot oh. and engage enemy aircraft long before they ever realize it's there. Us. Rising production costs meant that numbers of F-22 were strictly limited and plans to acquire 750 F-22s were soon scaled back and only 187 operational aircraft were built. So there are some concerns over having such a small elite fighter force. Nobody doubts the F-22's capability. That's small? 100 plus? <laughs> If this is small for the USA, how many of those did the other countries have? Probably none, or two or three. And the USA has a hundred plus, and then they're saying that's small. That's crazy. Five, Boeing B-52 Stratofortress. That's a huge. 64 years after it entered service, right. the venerable B-52 
is the most numerous aircraft in the U.S. Air Force bomber fleet, having outlasted aircraft meant to replace it. Often called the buff, big, ugly, fat fellow, is the polite version, the B-52 was designed in the depths of the Cold War as a nuclear bomber. It had the range to carry atomic warheads deep into the heartland of the USSR. Originally intended for high-altitude flight, it was modified for low-level operations when flying under the radar became essential. Another shift produced the Big Belly B-52 for conventional bombing, carrying 84 500-pound bombs internally and 24 750-pound bombs on wing pylons. Formations of B-52s wrought havoc Yo, in Vietnam with mass raids. That's a lot. The B-52 has a unique arrangement of eight engines and four pods. All attempts to replace these with four new engines have been rejected, and a forthcoming upgrade will retain the eight-engine configuration. The B-52 is still going strong with no sign of giving up, and some predict it will keep flying for a hundred years. Hmm. Okay. How many of those do they just have? Four. McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle. Eagle. Introduced in 1976, the F-15 was meant to be an unbeatable air superiority fighter, and it delivered. Its record in combat of over 100 kills with no losses is unrivaled. The twin-engine Eagle combines agility with speed, reaching Mach 2.5 at high altitude. It's equally capable of losing long-range AMRAAM missiles guided by its powerful AN-APG-63 radar or mixing it up in dogfights with short-range sidewinders. What's dogfight? Is the he... F-15's potential for the ground attack was later exploited in the F-15E Strike Eagle variant. This uses the plane's size and power to haul an impressive load of precision bombs. Okay. The basic design has proven so strong that even 40 years on, the Eagle continues to be effective with the F-15 SE Silent Eagle Stealth variant and the F-15X Advanced Eagle threatening to undercut the advantages of more modern aircraft. I got one plane that is so deadly, man. Three, Rockwell B-1 Lancer. Is the first of its kind? B-1, this is one, the first. More commonly known as the Bone from B-1, the B-1 has battled through a storm of criticism and program cancellations to become a key element of the U.S. Air Force's strategic bomber force. Okay. Conceived in 1970 as a Mach 2 high-altitude nuclear bomber to replace the B-58 Hustler and B-52, the B-1 was canceled in 1977, but resurrected mm -hmm. in the 80s due to delays in the more advanced B-2 Spirit. The new version was optimized for low-level, under-the-radar incursions at subsonic speeds. The B-1 has a combat radius of 3,000 miles without refueling and carries a phenomenal 125,000 pounds of bombs, 25, most of any bomber. After the START agreement of 1995, the B-1's nuclear capability was removed and it was mm. retasked as a purely conventional bomber. Equipped with this sniper targeting pod, the B-1 was able to carry out precision strikes in Iraq and more recently, it acted as an aerial cruise missile carrier in strikes against Syria. Now, the AGM 158C long range anti ship missile could give the B 1 a new maritime strike role, sinking vessels from outside the range of air defenses. It, are those real images of real fights? And if so, how, do, how did they get them for YouTube? 2. Lockheed C 130 Hercules. In service since 1956, the four-engined C-3 Herc is still the definitive rugged tactical transport. It is operated from unpaved runways in every theater of operation from Vietnam onwards. The AC-130 gunship version, aka Spooky, mounts an array of weapons including a 105mm howitzer, the biggest gun on any modern aircraft, as well as rapid-firing 40mm and 25mm cannons. In 2017, the C-130 took on an unlikely new role, dropping the outsized MOAB, Massive Ordnance Air Blast, or Mother of All Bombs, the largest bomb ever used in action on an ISIS tunnel complex in Afghanistan. It may be an old plane, but the C-130 is still full of surprises.
Is it bulletproof though? One. Fairchild Republic A10 Thunderbolt 2. Better known as the Warthog for its looks, the A10 is a slow, low-tech aircraft weighed down by armor plate and armed with a giant gun. It looks more steampunk than 21st century, but the A10 is a battle-proven veteran that's won the hearts of the foot soldiers it supports, if not Air Force generals who have repeatedly tried to retire it. Mm. The A-10 was introduced in 1977 as a straightforward tank buster to prevent massed Soviet armored divisions from overrunning Europe. It would survive by staying low, executing brief pop-up attacks, and with built-in protection including a titanium bathtub that encloses the pilot, proof against 23mm anti-aircraft cannon okay. fire. Okay. For armament, in addition to a respectable bomb load, the A-10 has the mighty 30mm GAU-8 Avenger, a 7-barrel Gatling gun firing 70 armor-piercing rounds a second. The cannon takes up one-sixth of the A-10's weight. Credited with destroying 987 Iraqi tanks in the 1991 Gulf War and doing more damage to Iraqi ground forces than all other Allied aircraft combined, the A-10 has since been upgraded to deliver smart bombs and remains the close support aircraft par excellence. But yeah, one thing that I've remarked is all those planes are from the 50s, 70s, or 80s. There's nothing new. It's just something that was started a long, long time ago, and now they improve it. Is that because of why they have 130, 120, 119. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm not sure. And I also got a theory that wars are just for the people who make all these things to taste what they produced, how effective it is. But yeah, unfortunately for the people who, the collateral damage is unfortunately for them. It is what it is. It is life. Humans, we are pretty messed up sometimes. And when the guy was loading the the bombs in the, in, in the flight, sometimes my brain works <laughs> weirdly. I was thinking, what if something happens and he drops it and then he explodes and he dies? But yeah, that, that was just some some inner battles. <laughs> Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the content. Comment. I'll see you next and subscribe to the channel for more content.